With the final four upon us, we take a look back on the Fordham basketball team that captivated the city back in the day. It was a whole different era, and CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer takes us back in time. This is memories down the lane. Wow. That little walk was emotional. What's it feel like? You know, it's almost as though I'm looking at somebody else's life. <laughs> it really is. At the start of the 70s, an unlikely band of brothers from Fordham University embarked on a basketball journey that would etch their names in the annals of the city's great sports lore. We did something special. With the Knicks in the NBA Finals, New York was basketball crazy. And a short subway ride up from Penn to the Bronx, you'd find a team defying expectations. No one was over 6'5", but we trapped and we ran and we, we forced team to play the way we wanted to play. Led by a rookie head coach named Digger Phelps. He brought us into a different era. You know, the way Fordham played before was walk it up, pass the ball in. Digger was steal the ball, shoot the ball. It wasn't steal the ball, hold it, wait to run an offense. It was steal the ball and let's run. And they ran and won and won, even against the top teams like UMass, led by Dr. J. There's a great picture of him where he's just over everyone jumping in the air and we all just looking, looking, all of us looking up. Dominant figure, but our team was better than his was. New York took notice. Fordham games were the toughest ticket in town. Packed. You couldn't get in. They sold seats between the stanchions and the basket. So when we took the ball out, we had to step around people. That's how crazy it was in, in 70, 71. Do you feel like you captured New York's heart? Well, I think Tom Sullivan said his best. He said we didn't have to pay for anything that year. <laughs> Fordham would go to the Sweet 16 that year. They finished the season ranked ninth in the nation. Mm, mm, mm. It's been 53 years. Kenny looks upon his retired jersey, his eyes replaying the memories of a season that touched the soul of a city. In a way, you allowed New Yorkers to dream right. in a city that never sleeps. Right. They dreamt, and, and as we kept winning, they kept winning with us. One of the big blessings of my life was playing ball here. It really was. Man, what a great story. It's been so long since we've had winning basketball <laughs> around here, pro or college. Right. Oh, man, fingers crossed. I know. Maybe one day. Maybe Someday. one day. One day.